We're about to show you in this video how you can take old plastic door panels and using Duplicolor and or SEM products, take them from one color to a completely different color. Here we have one we've already done on our 1976 Chevy C10. We're going to show you how to do the one that's going to be used on the opposite door. Let's get started by first disassembling those things on the door panel. If you have a complete door panel, you're going to be removing this door pocket with two or three screws. I do know it's two or three because I have two different groups. One had two, one had three. So you might have to remove two or three. The center one on the ones that don't have three is actually one of those Christmas tree style plastic ones you have to pull out. Next thing you have to do is get set up to remove the actual wooden panel applique if you have one of those. They were used on the higher end versions of these C10 pickups. As you can see I'm using a bent nose, long nose pliers to bend the tabs back. You don't want to over bend them, all you want to do is just bend them seeing so slide it through. And yes, there's a set along the top that's almost hidden that you have to work with and if you can't get them with the long nose pliers you can see I'm using a Screwdriver I've had for 30 years I deliberately bent so I can get under things of this nature. It was actually done to get able to get behind the door handles in 1950 Chevy, but it sure works for lots of other things also. Now that panel's off. There you have the base panel itself. And as you might have already noticed, it's completely dirty. We're going to take care of that in a moment. We're going to remove the piece of weather stripping at the top. We don't care about this because we have a brand new piece of weather stripping and the brand new weather stripping is so nice and so inexpensive that nobody should care about this. Just break the tabs and get the piece off of there. So this is a case where the Gorilla Method is probably pretty good and you can do that right there. Get it all off. You see I'm going to throw that away. Nothing there matters. I don't care about that. All I care about is the plastic panel which as I said is very dirty. So here we're going to scrub it down. This is Dawn dish soap, a scrub brush, and some water. And we're going to scrub the whole surface. Remember, I'm suggesting Dawn dish soap. I don't have any stock in them. I just happen to know it's going to remove the grease and dirt and everything. It is the thing they use for cleaning animals when there's an oil spill. So it really does work for this. And it's dirt cheap relative to most things. So scrub the whole thing down, front and back. Get everything you can possibly get with your scrub brush. This is just a scrub brush like you'd use on vegetables in a kitchen. I couldn't find my long handled one, which I prefer a little bit better. Well, it turns out I kind of hid it for myself right in the middle of the workbench. Strange place, but that's where it was. But the little scrub brush did the job, got the whole thing scrubbed down. And as you can see, this hardly takes any time. This entire process for the actual refinishing of a door panel, if you work at it, you're going to spend under 30 minutes. So here I am with a garden hose washing it off, getting rid of all the loosened up dirt. Just takes a few seconds to do this. I'm going to wash it off real well. And now what we're going to do is I'm actually going to set it up on its side like that to dry. Now one of the things you can do at this point, you see I got a terry cloth towel. I'm going to dry it off. I didn't want to wait so long. If this was the summer in Arizona, it wouldn't take but a couple of minutes practically for it to dry, but not this time. Next up, Prep All Max Grease Remover. This also removes wax, etc. And anything that you really don't want on the surface, such as silicone, it's going to take it all off. What you want to use is you want to use paper towels you can throw away. Change them out a few times while you're doing it and just use the wax and grease remover. Go over every single surface with the wax and grease remover as you can see. I still got stuff off after scrubbing it and washing it completely. So it is actually removing items from the surface. Most notably, again, it's going to be probably wax and grease. There's Plastic Adhesion Promoter by Duplicolor. This stuff works really good. Pick it up at most auto parts supply houses, but you can also get it online if you have to. You definitely, absolutely want to use this product. You want to spray it on a minimum of two light coats. They are to be three minutes apart. And 
you really do want to time this. The idea is this particular product actually sort of opens up the pores in the plastic so that the paint that we're going to use is going to bond batter to the surface. Again, I said you want to have two coats, light, you're not soaking it. You notice I'm not soaking it, there's no runs, drips, etc. And you notice how quick I'm painting across. This is not speeded up, this is the way you actually want to do it. And you don't need it on the back. We're not going to paint the back. We're only worried about the front. Notice you want to go from all four directions. So you get every nook and cranny when you're actually doing this. Two coats, three minutes apart. If you wait longer than 10 minutes after you've done this, you have to do it again. Oop, there's Nashville hiding under the solstice. Here we are with the SIM at vinyl and or plastic and fabric paint and of course there's also a duplicolor version of it that you saw there too. One of the interesting things is it makes no difference. These two products are completely compatible. These two manufacturers are probably mad at me for telling you that but there's absolutely no reason you can't use one over the other or one right after the other or one half and the other one half, they work completely together. The one difference there will be is there's a slight difference in sheen. I prefer the SEM for the final sheen. It's a little bit less shiny than the version from Duplicolor, but either version works great. You can pick up either one at your average auto parts supplier again. And you notice I'm applying this in thin coats. You want a minimum of two thin coats. Keep moving around, you see how fast I spray. I do not stay in one spot and I do not spray it all at once. So a minimum of two thin coats. Remember, we're doing this within 10 minutes of when we started with our adhesion promoter. And you can see how fast we're refinishing this. There are more colors than just doing black, but black over anything really finishes it fast. And when I'm done here, it's gonna look like it's absolutely brand new. And all I've done is used a few dollars worth of paint. Anybody can do this with any vinyl fabric or plastic parts in their car, provided you follow what we showed you.